Hey, welcome guys and welcome to another episode, episode two of Coffee Break. Today, we got the the the, the blessing to, to actually showcase, you know, a BMW B7 Alpina. This this car is fully loaded. You can see the these can uh these um these tan seats. They're like is is in mint condition. You're talking about a, a fully loaded um a luxury car. Talk about an ultimate driving machine. This car right here is amazing. It's a beast. 600 horsepower, a V8 twin turbo. You, you, you're talking about a, a, a muscle. This right, this car right here is 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 a beast. It's a monster. The BMW B7 Alpina. Um, um, I want to thank um, Grand Prix Motors in Brooklyn, Coney Island Avenue, for for letting us showcase uh, um, uh, their car as as we start the new um, the second episode of of Coffee Break. Again, where we have cars, coffee, and leaders. Cars, coffee, and leaders is, is what this is about. So I'm just giving you a little a taste of, of what this Alpina B7 is. Um, it's, it's a sick car. You can look it up and you can check them out. If you're, if you're, in, the, um, um, if you're in the market for any car, if you're in the market for, for a BMW, and if you're in the market for something powerful, strong, Guys, check them out. Grand Prix Motors, located in Coney Island Avenue in Brooklyn. I want to thank them for for this opportunity and for this time to to showcase their um, um, their cars, their lineup. Um, but with that being said, we need some coffee now. It's about to get some coffee. We we need some. We need a, we need a good coffee shop to go to. So stay with us. Stay with us because you know I got a leader to pick up, a young leader to uh, uh, to pick up, and um, just chat with him about his life and and just normal stuff like we always do. So thanks again for tuning in to Coffee Break, episode two. Ready for um for a nice little coffee? Oh yeah, need that coffee. Let's, let's 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 grab some let's grab some coffee. Um, bro, it's it's good that that, that you're able to to make it, you know, with us. And um, I'm I'm actually glad that you know we're we're able to to connect and you know what I mean and just you know chill, you know, and and see how how we. How life is, you know, get some a different perspective from from different people. You know what I mean? Right, right. And just as far as like, you know, what this is about. This is about coffee. This is about cars. This is about leaders. You know what I mean? And just getting perspective as to, you know, how we how we do things, how we grow, and just different insight. You know what I mean? Exactly. So um, we're gonna go to this coffee shop, and um, and then from there we'll we'll further discuss. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll chat a little bit more as to, you know. How's your life and what you up to? What you know? How's how's things going? You know what I mean? Absolutely. Bro. All right, bro. We'll see you then. We'll see you in this coffee shop. Yo, so what's up, man? We coffee break episode two. We here in um Orso. Or so coffee, coffee yeah. um, in Shore Avenue, I believe. Um, we just came to, you know, get it in, just chat a little bit, and just see how things are going, bro. How's how's life, man? How how you been? How's things going? Everything's good, man. Um, something I've been really really focusing on is, you know, uh, trusting the process. You know, ah, like, nice. That, uh, I'm at a new season in my life, you know, a new chapter of the book, man. Like. You passing now, you know, in front of a congregation, um, and it's different. It's different. Um, not gonna lie to you, you know, 
growing up, as, you know, as, as a kid, like being a leader was something that came normally. You know, right. but something that I'm really learning now is is really being a pastor. You know, like you had the heart, but now it's it's that time to practice everything you, you know you, you learn. And um, it's challenging, bro. You know, like it's being stretched. It's like uh, my favorite verse. In the Bible, Second Corinthians four seven, you know, it talks about how we are these clay vessels carrying the power that doesn't come from us, you know, mm. like, so that we don't boast about it. Right, right, like, right. And that, you know, we're straight, and but we're not broken. You know, we're stretched, but not destroyed. Like, ah, um, yeah, that's that's, that's awesome. definitely what I'm feeling, bro. You know? Yeah, and it's it's like how how is it? You know what I mean? Like, um, um, you're a youth pastor. You know, you you work, but before that, you know, you just love the youth. Mm -hmm. Um, I myself work with youth. Me and my wife keep doing, you know, doing the same type of things. Um, but it's good that we can engage with each other. You know, what I'm saying the same level and and just you know see what what the what the young people need. And from from your point, you know, I'm I'm in Connecticut. I grew up in New York, but now, you know, you're in Worcester, like. What what do you think the generation needs now? Like, like what what do you see as a as a like um as like a like a stumbling block now yeah. for the for this generation? I think I think well growing up in Worcester, I think what people need is is a, is a voice. You know what I'm mm. saying what they're really craving is a voice. They want to be heard. They, I think I think my society what we really what we really need is a lot of kids are really misunderstood. You know what I'm ah, saying? Like, okay. They grew up a lot of kids that I know. They grew up in church. You know, and, and then they obviously they stray away because of things that they saw, they were exposed to, things that they didn't understand, you know. Uh, but I know that kids back home, they, they just misunderstood and they carry all that pain, bro. And, you know, everybody has this false concept of what they believe church is. Right. You know, and what they think, what the, you know, the, the four walls, you know, because we are the church, you know. Right. They think that they're going to be judged and they have this idea that they can't be who they want to be and, and, and um and love God at the same time. You know, they, they think that they got to give up the things that they love, which is, you know, obviously not the bad things, you know, like, right. but I'm talking about, like, talents. I'm talking about, like, you know, sports and stuff like that. They think that they got to give all that up and, and to serve Christ. But what I'm you, trying to help them see is that you can, you can you, do you both. Do, you, you play ball yourself, right? I love basketball. Like, you love bro. basketball, you know what I mean? And you do like, other... You do other things that mm -hmm. you just you. You're young. How old are you? Twenty two. Twenty. I'm twenty. I'm about to be twenty one. You're gonna be twenty one. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? That's amazing to to be in the midst of people. You know what I mean? That that are at this level right now. That there's twenty year olds like you know on a Saturday getting ready. You know, getting jiggy with it. You know what I mean? Getting ready to get to a party tonight. But yet you you know you're twenty years old. You're young. You're energetic. You play ball. You know. Um, you also come from from pastors that you know parents that are pastors also you know what i mean under the ccrn umbrella um um which is which is cool which is the umbrella that that we're in ccrn stand up Shout let's out. get it apostle apostle yeah. Feliciano, we love you you already know you already know grandpa right there so you know th this is a good thing because then we we get to people get to see another perspective now you know not just from an older person not just from the pastor not just from uh from apostle but but this is what what has been instilled in us right for us to to do you know what i mean right, right. so i'm glad that that you were actually able to do what you do has it been easy no has it been easy bro no, absolutely not. you know you're young you're gonna deal with with stuff mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so you know how how has it been you know working with you but also you being young yourself and right. being able to like you know how do you engage with them um it's tough like learning the balance between the two because there's many times like you know you you want to be a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, my whole life growing up, I just wanted to be normal, you know? Like, like I was telling you the other day, like, like yesterday, um, I just started embracing this pastor call, you know what I'm saying? Like, not my whole entire life, I wasn't looking forward to, you know, I'm going to be in front of a congregation or I'm going to be leading a youth. Because like, right. at the same time, I'm trying to figure this thing out. You know, at the same time, I got my struggles, I got my, my, um, my problems, you know, and... and and I want to be the best example that I could be for these kids, you know what I'm saying? And it's tough, it's tough. sometimes I want to be a kid, but I know in the back of my head, you know, like, I got to be the example that they got to see. Yeah, we will have to. We, yeah. we have to. But, so. um, but uh, it's cool. You know, I, I try to implement God in everything we do. You know, we play ball, you know, we stay active. I hit the gym. We be, we be paintballing. And if you wanted a Fortnite PS4, you can add me. We can get it popping in Fortnite. What's your Fortnite ID? Uh, oh, Jose. It's O H H Jose, but with three E's at the end. And if you didn't get that, it's gonna be in my attic right there. All right, so I plug him in, Adam. You know, um, 
he's he, he's really active. Joito is, is, is a young man, man, but but he's also a, a godly, Christ-centered young man, which is cool, you know. And and I actually thank God that I was able to to you know break bread with him at this moment and, and just chat with him even before we got here and just you know in, embrace each other's you know things that that we're doing because we're all doing it you know we're trying to do god together and that at the end of the day that's what we're doing you know but um i, I thank you for your time bro i, I thank you for your for, for your insight you know what i mean and being that people hear from you from another side, not just me, you know what I mean, but they hear from, from another side. So if, if there's some like, um, if a young person is watching this right now, older person, whatever it is, like what advice would you know would you give them as far as if they if they're in the walk or if they are straight from the walk, you know what I'm saying? Like what type of advice would, would you tell them at this moment? Um, you had to. My thing is, is don't be don't be afraid to be yourself. You know, don't be afraid to to do what God is calling you to do. Obviously. Respect your authority. Seek guidance from your pastors. You know, don't ever do things out of emotion. You know, pray on it. But what I what I really encourage those like that's what really helped me is really finding God for myself. You know, like don't go, don't be piggybacking off of your mom's salvation, your dad's salvation. Like really get a relationship with God. You know, take time out of your day and and separate that time of intimacy with God. Like cause that's what carried me through. You know, that's what got me Amen. to where I'm at right now. And, Amen, bro. and it's without relationship, you you're gonna fall off because your roots is what's gonna hold you in the times of the storm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like and it's it's about that that intimacy that you have with God that you're gonna understand like you know what the powers of this world don't really have a they don't have a hold over me. You know, like the chains of sin aren't really on me. They, they were broken the day of Jesus Christ. And it's crucifixion, man. And like when you really understand that, you understand who God is for you and, and who God is showing you who he is. Uh, the lies of this world don't have a stronghold over you, influence over your friends, over you that they have over you. That doesn't have a stronghold over you because you know who you are in Christ. And yo, identity in Christ is really my advice to you. Like find out who God is calling you to be. Do not be scared. Trust the process. And embrace yourself because, like Lecrae says, I'm gonna quote Lecrae, like, you know, I was losing being you, but I'm winning at being me. Mm. You know, and like, nice. nobody needs another copy. You know, nobody yeah. can be you, and you be can't genuine. be nobody. Exactly, bro. So that's that's something that I I really encourage you all to be. Is you guys are all made special. You know what mm. I'm saying? God knows exactly how much hair He has on your head. You know, like so, really take that and run with it. Embrace who you are. Embrace. Work on the things that you need to be worked on, and and. Let's go from there, man. Let's, hey, let's man. be great. Let's be that change that we want to see. That's you know? it, bro. There you go. That's from the very own, from himself. You know what I'm saying? This is from, from him. This ain't me. You know what I mean? This is that dude speaking right now and giving you some knowledge, dropping some bars on you. You know what I mean? And and doing it in in his own way, you know? If, if, if you know what I mean? If you're looking for a church, you know, and you're in, you're in the Massachusetts, you know, area, the Wooster area, check him out. I'm going to have the information on the description below. Go to the church. Awesome pastors. Um, if you're in the Connecticut area, CCRN. Hello. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. We are in there. CCRN. Um, West Haven, 129 Bull Hill Lane, West Haven, Connecticut. That's where we get it popping. That's where we praise God. Um, but I want to thank everybody for watching. For, for viewing this second episode yes, I think it's, it, it, it's dope It's great And stay tuned for more to come Stay tuned for more to come More cars mm -hmm. More coffee mm -hmm. More leaders Let's expand Let's let, let's let's take this territory Alright Thank you for having me Jonathan. Yeah bro Appreciate you Yo appreciate you bro This coffee's fire This coffee's blazing <laughs> So like in In every segment right when we leave mm -hmm. we take a sip of coffee <sighs> coffee break Where? episode 2 see you in the next one later <laughs>